YouTube, this is Sonic 2 kk here, and welcome back to another uh, new tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about uh, some of the math functions and uh, anonymous functions. But we're going to start with anonymous functions. Now, what is an anonymous function? Well, you know the way we make a function, and we say function, uh, func name, params, and then we call it uh, params. Then we type print function uh, 10 and we would run it and it would print 10. Well, we have this function here, right? But we have the function as a name. But say we want the function as a variable. And uh, that variable could be a function, and it's it's like an anonymous function. Well, uh, because it doesn't have a name. Well, the variable name is technically the name, but anyway. Uh, let's say local x equals function, and then uh, we'll just do this, and end. And this works, this creates an anonymous function, which an anonymous function is just a function without a name in, in the variable x. So x is now a function, but the function itself actually doesn't have a name. So here what we're going to do is we're going to return hello world. And then I want to have a function, or not an anonymous function, uh, uh, what would you call it, uh, an anonymous no, a anonymous, anonymous. I don't, I don't know what you would call a function with a name. Let's just call it a function, and we will type a uh, test or uh, Jimmy, because I'm feeling creative, and we're gonna take uh, an anonymous function as a parameter. You don't have to type that. And we're going to type uh, print uh, uh, and we're going to do the brackets. We'd have to do the brackets again. And we're not calling Jimmy. Jimmy X. Um, yeah, and it prints hello world. So basically what, all we're doing here is creating a function, uh, or a, an anonymous function in the local variable x, and making it return to hello world, and then in the function jimmy, the normal function, we take, we just have a parameter called anon, anon func, which basically means anonymous function. But you don't need that. And all that does is uh, then what we do here is we say print anonymous function and then the two uh, brackets, the two parentheses, because this means run. Think of it as run. Think of this as it means and run it. So call it and run it. Because if we just do the, or access it and uh, call it and call and run it, this just, this all this does is return the... Uh, the memory address of the function and this runs it and this runs what it does. The reason we have to print it out is because remember it returns hello world and then we're just doing this. So this is pretty simple to understand. Uh yeah. Uh what else did I say I was gonna talk about how much time we got? Yeah we got good ten out, it only took four minutes. Uh we're gonna talk about math.random math.py a math that's square root. So what we're going to do is we're going to type um actually we're gonna go into the interactive lure prompt and we're gonna type math dot squirt s q r t print math dot s q r t and three math dot s q r t is getting uh, things from the math table. It's getting uh, this is part of the standard library. The math uh, module 
which I guess you could think of it as the math, <coughs> math table, math file, is part of the Lua standard library, which is everything that comes with Lua as standard, that comes with Lua when you download it. And that, that SQRT, is one of them, and this means you get the square root, and it takes one parameter, and that is the parameter you want to get the square root of, so in our case it's 9, and that's 3. If you don't know what the square root is, say, like if you're uh, a younger viewer, maybe, uh, don't worry. But for those of you that do know about it, that can be pretty useful. Then we're going to type print math.py. Now, I'm sure a lot of you won't know what this is, but I actually made a Python tutorial on the power of numbers, like what the uh, what pi does. Uh, uh, so basically, it gets the power of two numbers. Like, if I'm sure you've done area, no matter how well. Hopefully you have done area and perimeter, uh, but you know the way it says like centimeters squared, which would be two above it. Well, that's called the uh, oh, what's it called? It's called the index. That's called the index number and the normal number. So, if you have a number and you want to cube it, say you, you're working with cube numbers, um, then the the big number kind of not the wee small number. Not the tiny number, like two or three above it, the, the actual number that's actual size, kind of like two, two, and then the be tiny three. Well, two is the base number, and three is the index number, which means multiply two by two three times. But you can have any number up there. So the pi function gets the power of two numbers, it's also called exp uh, exponential, exponential, whatever, ex exponent. But a lot of people are already in is getting the power of numbers. So the first parameter it takes is the base number, which let's say it's five, and then the the uh index number, which we would make ten, and it will do that. It will multiply five by five ten times, and it 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 uh, prints this number. Uh, there's no pi operator like you might think there is in Python. The two uh asterisks, the this the uh. No. Um, yeah, and then another thing we want to look at, just I think this is the last thing we're going to look at. Uh, we're going to look at math.random. And math.random uh, can optionally, it can take 0, 1, or 2 parameters. If you give it 0 options, it will generate a random number, a float from a number by the decimal point, uh, from 0 and 1. So if we do this, oh no, it didn't apparently. I you did that. Uh, anyway, you want if you want to generate a number within a range, what you do is you have to type print zero and say ten. That all. Oh, print zero. Print math random zero ten, and that will print random numbers between zero and ten. You don't have to see it. You don't have to give it a seed, but there is math that random seed. Math that random seed. And uh, you can pass it in a parameter there. If you do use this, most people will pass in OS.10. This just gets the time from the OS on your computer, and that kind of seeds the random number generator from math.random. Excuse me. Uh, so, yeah. You have to give it the zero parameter so that it knows where to kind of start. Uh, this is useful, trust me. So math that random, math that random seed, math that uh, f uh, square root s q r t square root, whatever you want to call it, and math dot pi math dot get the power of numbers kind of. Uh, you can look up all of the math functions on the uh, the users wiki, and you could also uh, look it up on the. Uh, program in the programming and learn book, which is uh, a good book if you're interested in reading it. Uh, but if you most likely if you're watching this tutorials, either you want a point of reference, uh, or you don't like books, or maybe both. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.